Good morning, folks. As we've mentioned over the last week or so, Mercury is coming in to conjoin the Sun there, to the north of Earth's orbital plane. Many of you remember that in addition to the long filament already crested onto the Earth-facing disk, we saw a bigger one rising up over the limb. It is now gone. She lifted up and exited the situation yesterday, leaving mere skeletons of her former glory. In the next view, a combination of 193 and 171 angstroms, you can see how the release trembles the corona, or solar atmosphere. A smaller movement at the end of the display actually produced the real ejecta for the CME. It is a tight coiling cloud, so tropical and seismic events could couple longitudinally. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we're going to zoom in and see that the large filament out ahead does remain and continues turning across the Earth-facing disk. This filament is much larger than the one on the south, but also at higher latitude. It is the southern rope that would be more likely to be geo-effective if released. The northern one is likely to go straight north upon its release. Superman and Chuck Norris both wear Earth-facing quiet pajamas to sleep at night, trying to have that dominance rub off on them. Two big sunspots utterly silenced in the Earth-facing position. With all magnetic complexity wiped from the board there as polarities are split. Solar wind speed remains elevated in yellow, but waning density in orange leaves Earth unstable, but without storm-level disruptions. We've got minor auroras only. The lithospheric disruption from our electric event wraps up on day 5 of the system-wide effects with two volcanoes spewing lava or ash clouds here. Moving to space, we've got new high-res detail images from Dawn at Ceres. Certainly worth a click and a look through these. And a sad story here. We have another major whale beaching event in India. While some were able to be saved, many were not, and many of the survivors actually swung back and re-beached overnight. This is always so tough to see. Folks, head on over to spaceweathernews.com slash OTF and see if taking a little trek to Phoenix in two weeks is something you'd be interested in. Same place you get the tickets, same place you can pick up our book by the same name, Observing the Frontier. We're going to go round the world and then hit shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.